What up, YouTube? It's Robert Marshall of the Ohio Rain Wheel and Vapor coming back at you from the Concord, Ohio. What's happening, Vape family? So, uh, how is everybody? I'm going to change my camera angle a little bit, so I'm sorry about my janky camera stuff. We'll see if that works better. Okay. Anyway, um, I have kind of a kind of a video today for everybody. Um, I got a couple new things going on. Uh, one I'm really excited about, and I'm going to give you a, like a first, first look, kind of first build, kind of flavor um, thing. Um, you know, and uh, I got a new look and a new mod, which I'm going to play with for a while. Um, and then I'm going to do a review on it. This is the Smoant Cylon. Um, I do believe that's how you pronounce it, the Cylon. This is a really awesome mod. Um does lots of things. And I'm not, everybody that's watched my YouTube channel knows, I'm not a huge, like, perpetuator of, 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 uh, of uh, regulated devices. I'm more of a mechanical mod kind of guy. Um, but this thing, you know, centered 510, there's just, I mean, I'm going to get down on a, I had a pretty real deal review on it. Um, I got the gunmetal and 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 the tar what they call the tarnish instead of the black. Anyway, um, but the other thing is I'm really excited because I got in uh, this. The Vandy Vape Phobia RDA, which I am absolutely, absolutely stunningly gosh with. This is the, the 810, you know, with the stuff. It's got the crap beautiful etched in logo beautiful beautiful polished look at look at this polished gold man uh beautiful polished ultram 810 drip tip it's all 810 drip tip compatible it's got this beautiful edging in it it says uh no fear no more phobias it's pretty cool uh, it's, it's a fingerprint magnet. I figured that out real quick. It's a really polished gold. Um, but I like gold and I have a lot of black mods and gun metal and gold looks good on them. But here's what I've done. This is still on the 521 tab. I'm going to give you guys a, uh, like a, I just built this. I've got some, some 24 or some 24. Good job. 26, 36 Nichrome aliens in here. And, uh, you know, so that's the build. Um, and uh, I'm gonna, um, I haven't vaped this yet. So, uh, you know, I basically just built it and I'm gonna put some juice on it. Now, what I'm gonna put on this though uh, is, uh, it's called Vaptasia and I've never tried this juice either. So we're kind of doing two things at once. I got this in sample box, this killer custard, strawberry killer custard. Of course, it's a three milligram Nick because I vape three milligram Nick. And uh, we're just gonna juice this bad baby up a little bit. So while I'm juicing this up and getting it, getting it fully prepared to be vaped on. Uh, let's talk about a little bit of advocacy. And I know everybody doesn't want to hear about advocacy, but all of us YouTube guys have to talk about advocacy because, you know, they're trying to take away our right to vape. You know, and none of us want that. You know, we, we started uh, started vaping to get off the stinkies, you know, so, um, and to save our health. You know, this is tobacco harm reduction we're doing here, you know. So anyway, to make the whole thing worth it, guys. Um, by the way, this phobia does have a squonk pin. I'm choosing not to squonk it right now. So I just want to check it out this way. Then we'll, I'll get back to checking out on Squonk. And like I said, this is really just a first impression, first vape kind of look at it. I'm not going to go over specs or stupidness. I just want to just want to vape this thing with you guys. And, and really, you know, I'm going to do a couple dry burns on it just because, um, you know, I don't you know, break these aliens in a little and see what wattage I feel like I need to run this at. But anyway, uh, you know, you need to get a hold of your representatives and, you know, we all, they're, they're going to try to take away our right to vape and you need to fight not only for our local area, but you know, you need to make sure that you, you're, you're part of Casal, some of these other organizations that are helping vape in Casal, especially who's sticking up for the entire vape community all over the world, really, I'm um, trying to prevent all these horrible things that are going on. So that's the end of my advocacy rant. Do what you can, guys. You know what I mean? Do what you can. So, you know, that's the best I can tell you is do what you can because, uh, you know, it's all we can do is what we can do, right? So do what you can. Uh, so anyway, I've got this pretty well dry burned and, and, you know, feel like I got the brand new cotton disgusting out of it. Cause I hate brand new cotton stench. Um, so it looks really, it might look slightly strange on this smell ant actually. Um, because it's, this smell ant is a big, it's a, got this big centered 510 and this thing's only a 24 millimeter Addy. So there's still a little overhang ring there for 25s, but this thing will sit at 30. Um, absolutely set of 30, like flush set of 30. It's a really cool mod. So we're going to get into this. And of course, I'm going to have to turn my wattage up because I was running something at 35 watts, my one of my tanks. But anyway, uh, 
I'm going to probably run this up to about 75 watts, which is my comfort range. And uh, we're going to have a first vape on this thing. And I'm going to give you a, my impression of the flavor because this thing's supposed to be a pretty awesome flavor atomizer. And uh, I just wanted to put up a little video. And I know I'm kind of like waffling, you know, uh, ranching a little bit. And the airflow here, I, I have a distaste for this airflow, but it's, I, I hope that it that it that doesn't wear down on me. But the airflow, it's a pretty, pretty decent tolerance to adjust this airflow the only problem is is it like so so here's my issue already if if i turn the airflow this way to turn it down that's fine okay like to, to turn it this way to turn to turn it down to cut the airflow it's cool but if i try to go back i guess that tolerance is okay once it's screwed down and it came loose on me there i'm gonna run this wide open because i feel like this is quite a bit more restricted airflow than my brain tells me because you know everybody knows i'm a cloud chaser we're gonna try this out with this uh the strawberry killer custard that I got from a from sample box. It's by Vaptasia, so we're gonna try that out. I'm gonna fire that. We have some little vape, guys. Man, that is a lot more restricted than I expected. That airflow is a little a little restricted for me, but the flavor seems seems pretty on point, guys. Um, that's that's pretty was pretty clean. That little puff there, I almost choked. I'm not gonna lie, I almost choked myself. Man, that flavor's clean. That is a clean, clean flavor. And of course, this is the, the 810 drip tip compatible cap. Um, and I'm gonna switch these caps out. Uh, this Vandy Vape Phobia comes with two caps. It comes with this 810 polished, beautiful polished, the gold and the Ultram's beautiful. This beautiful gold and Ultram polished uh, thing. And then the other cap is an actual, like what they would call like a competition cap or a higher airflow cap. And it comes with both entire caps. Of course, it's got the same logo, but this one has this beautiful polished Ultram like legit full bore chuff cap. So, you know, I'm hoping it'll open that airflow up a little bit. But this this thing, I don't want to do like a review review on it because I want to give it time to, you know, feel it out before I do a real review on it, if I ever do. Um, I have another chuff. This bigger chuff cap definitely makes it louder, but I feel like it improves the airflow dramatically. I think it does reduce the flavor though. I feel like the, the other cap has better flavor. So I might run it a little lower wattage, like 65, and run that uh, 810 drip tip compatible cap. I'll tell you guys what, the design of this thing... <coughs> I apologize, I choked myself. Uh, the design of this thing is really awesome. Um, you know, these lay in a lot like... A lot of these other ones but the deck in this is really really different they're like side almost like drop-in posts that are like milled down below so you have more room but these side posts here have the airflow that come through them but as you notice the airflow is over here but the posts are over here and these posts go down and connect to this side airflow okay so it's got side airflow that comes through and there are holes underneath so it is also bottom airflow but i haven't you know i don't see any leakage i don't see any I don't see any leakage. I don't see any, like, uh, you know, stuff dropping down in there where I, I mean, I poured juice on this because, you know, it's a fresh build. And it didn't leak down in. I mean, I'm not saying that it won't leak if you overfill it too much, but, you know, it might leak squonking and not this way. But usually if you run it on a device like this and it doesn't leak, it usually won't leak squonking. So I'm going to have another chuff. Yeah, I absolutely feel like this cap uh, opens the airflow up a little. But reduces the flavor so i think that's pretty much like a cloud chasing cap or a competition style cap that's right here and then this is more your like everyday 810 kind of uh flavor type cap it's a lot more conclave on the inside the first thing i noticed when i picked up these caps i'll show you guys this on the video i don't want the video to be too long but you know see that that's the difference like this one's the this is the chuff cap one see how the it's conclave because of this right you take this out, it's just straight through bore. And this is the only conclave you have, this little bit of conclave here, okay? This one is conclave to the metal. Even if I take this 810 out, look at that. That's got that conclave feel. So I, I definitely, um, from personal whatever, or, you know, believe that this is going to be the cap for flavor and the other one's really going to be the cap for cloud, which is really cool that they provide you, like, you know, if you wanted to use this for cloud chasing, you know, or tricks or whatever, that you get that option, you know, to be able to use that. So, um, the, the airflow is relatively smooth. I think it is a little loud. Um, 
you know, it was a little loud. Uh, but the thing is, is there's no turbulence to this airflow. Like, listen to it. I mean, it's... There's no turbulence, and it's it's really, really smooth. I mean, it's... I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I keep choking myself. It's brand new cotton, so I am sorry. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's a first look, kind of first impression, first puffs kind of thing. But the flavor with this cap is phenomenal. The flavor, even with this bigger cap, is good. I just feel like it's better with this more conclave, kind of trapped-in cap, you know? And I'm more of a cloud chaser, man, and this... This uh this restricted airflow is is uh tough on me, but I really dig it. This is um I may have put too big of coils in this, you know. These are seven wrap twenty six thirty six nichrome aliens. You know what I mean? So I mean I may have overdid the coils for what's supposed to be a flavor RDA, but I wanted to see what it could handle, you know, from the get go, because you know I'm a cloud chaser and that's what I do. So anyway, guys, I know this wasn't an actual review, which is kind of a first looks, first impression on uh you know me letting you know that i got this cylon and i'm gonna work some time into it and let you guys know this thing's absolutely beautiful and that i gotten this new fandy vape phobia rda in it is a 24 millimeter rda it comes with both things it comes with an extra set of grub screw screwdriver awesome little baggie of awesome okay little screwdriver of course allen key um squonk pin uh all new seals so it's a pretty good setup comes with two caps of course the owner's manual and of course the fandy vape plastic case that's basically like you know whatever you could need for that so uh that's basically where we're at so anyway everybody um i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope that you know i'll, I'll be getting to the review the actual review on the vanity vape phobia unless this is good enough for you make a comment if you don't even want me to bother because i told you what i think about it um, i'll give it some more time and maybe come back to review and uh of course i'm gonna work with this for a couple weeks and then we'll come back so as i always say vape family hat baby i can't talk I can't talk, and I don't edit. So anyway, as I always say, uh, from the Ohio Rambling, baby here in New Concord, Ohio, vape happy, vape safe. Peace out, YouTube.